because what you did was incredibly important at two or three different levels. Firstly, the world is full of people like me, of my age, who think they know what people like you, of your age, want and experience. That's rubbish. We don't. We can't. The reality of life is something that you know, and it's my job to listen to you and to respect you. To hear a 12-year-old person actually laying down a track about people smoking weed, that's shocking. I'm sorry, that's shocking, but it's real. It's real. There's no point in pretending it doesn't happen. No point. Well, firstly, you've told it like it is. Uncut. Raw. Real. And I've got to listen to that. I've got to hear it. People find it incredibly difficult to talk to people like me, um, and it's not because I'm just an MP. It's partly because it's just the age. Sometimes it can be race, it can be a whole range of things, and that's understandable. I mean, you know, when I was your age, I would have not particularly liked some middle-aged bald bloke in a suit wandering in there. So you have kind of got a credibility gap anyway, and that's a shame because it's people like me who've got to actually come up with the goods for the future. Because, in all honesty, I'm the past; you're the future. I don't know if you know, but what you've been doing is some sort of active citizen. Yeah, citizen. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. Yeah. What's your definition then of, of an active citizen? Someone. Who's who's um, make some make changes. Ah. Take things on from other people. Create ideas. No, that was really brilliant, though, I have to say. Uh, that was uh, very creative, and I thought professional, actually. Um, yeah, you could pay money for that. And also, you were talking about stuff that was going on around you. You were very aware. You were politically aware. Uh, yeah, so I think really congratulate you, actually, on doing a fantastic job. I have to say, even if I wasn't a fan beforehand, after hearing tonight, I mean, how could anyone not be absolutely and utterly committed? You know, and I, I want to thank you, Mark, and I want to thank Rain Free for actually facilitating this tonight, because these things don't just happen, they don't just grow from the ground. They've got to be facilitated, they've got to be directed, and you've done that, and you're brilliant. And, you know, we've heard the authentic voice yet. <laughs>